Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, and today a short TA video, but also some amazing news, like big time, huge, huge, huge news. So watch the video till the end if you want to know more. But let's quickly jump into those charts again, guys. This is the first chart, yes, one hour chart. You can see that the bam bam indicator um, did indicate a long over here. Are we going to take that long? No, because there's a lot of blue and yellow. The long is also down below there, so you can see there's a lot of blue of yellow. Uh, the blue line is still down below the white line. We are not taking that long. The moment a candle closes above the yellow stepping line, we see a green dot. We see the yellow and the blue decreasing. We see green starting and we see the bam bam crossing. So that's already a triple confirmation and this is a quadruple confirmation. That is the moment you take the long. And if you would have taken that long again at that moment, uh, you would be now in a 2% profit without leverage. So with leverage, it's a little bit more. Always be aware that we touch uh, these tops of the Bollinger Bands. That is a moment to take profit. You know, we are still on a bullish move and we see a lot of green and we see this red dot over here in the bottom. That means there's a lot of volume coming in. Uh, but always be aware when we see a short flag, then take your profits because we are in the top of that blue line. Now, day channel, more important. Uh, we are slowly zooming out again. This uh, day channel is showing us, of course, um, in a simple way. No, oh, my face is okay on the that side um, in a simple way uh, that is a green last line the 30k line um, has been support now for many times you know this is like really becoming um, one uh, let's say they'll count that almost two three four now fifth time that it became support that the body closed above so that line is becoming more important and important 30k now um of course if we look at the Three day dead cross, sorry, because this is a three day chart. Oh, I still had the settings from yesterday. I said it's a three day chart, guys. Uh, then a dead cross just happened. But like I said in yesterday's video, uh, we already pulled back or dipped before the death cross. So, in my opinion, this death cross will not have that much influence on the price again, as we already crashed before that cross was happening. Now, um, if we zoom out a little bit more, so this was the three day chart, guys. Oh, yes, of course, if I go to the one day chart, uh, you will see the same. You will see every time we touch that line. Now, zoom out, Gaussian channel. We've talked about it many, many, many times. These crashes from the Gaussian channel, when we turned from green to red, were massive. It was 50% the first time. The second time was 44%, so that's less. And maybe the third time will only be 33%, you know, uh, even if we go back further, I think we have still have it on the chart over here. Um, let's calculate from there till there. It even was 65% uh, there in 2013. So 65, 50, 44, uh, do you see what is happening? Maybe 33. Uh, this means that Bitcoin is becoming less volatile. So these crashes will be less volatile. We are at the moment um, a huge amount, almost 33.5% down below that Gaussian channel. That doesn't happen often, guys. And when it happens, again, I will say it again and again and again, we will bounce somewhere and the red will turn green again. And every time in history when the red has turned green, there was an ultimate buying opportunity for Bitcoin. When red turns green, if you buy, you will be in profit. When red turns green, if you would buy, you would be in massive profit. When red will turn green again, you will buy and you will be in massive profit. If you want to buy in early, that is this moment when we dip that far below the Gaussian channel. That is the moment you can start to add Bitcoins to your portfolio, you see? Because from that moment, we will go turn around. And then later, that red will turn into green. But all this way, you could be buying up all this way you could be buying up so that is what i would recommend and it's not financial advice as i'm just a normal guy but you should be buying up bitcoin in my opinion and there's also what you see in the weekly in the weekly um we are we had a high we had a lower high we had a uh, low we had a lower low sorry uh, but 
we are keeping that green line, that 30k line, every time, you know, bounce, 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 bounce. Are we going to bounce again? So, and is this the downward trend line? So, will this bounce be something like this and then up to that trend line? And will we go one more time down? And then it becomes exciting. Then it becomes exciting. But then because then we would see, or this, retest, bam, up again. Or, of course, we will see that visit here then in that period of that 200 weekly moving average before we come up. And that 200 weekly moving average that would then be November 2022 would be then around 26K. And if we look back in history on the weekly chart, I hope my face is okay, I'll put it here now. And if you would back look, in, uh, look back in history, on that 200 weekly moving average, just checking now, um, here, when we touch that line, here, let me guess which month it was, December, so that's November, December, we were touching that line, now let's go back even further in history, here, this was the first time we touched that line, if you pull the line through like that, something, that was December, also December, so touching the 200 weekly moving average in December, touching that 200 weekly moving average in December, does that mean that now again we will be touching that 200 weekly moving average in December? And does that mean that um, we will still be bouncing from here, from the lower low to a lower high? And then again to a lower low and then somewhere in november december touch that line so that is what what could happen this double line of course is when if the the, the red line would be continuing like this again seven red weekly candles in a row has never happened before we're even creating the eighth one so i i really expect that we will pull back up a little bit and then maybe continue the downward turn now whew, too much words. Um, if you want to use all these indicators, the band band indicator and all the stuff and trade, then use the links down below the video. The buy it, buy it gives you a $4,100 bonus, 30% fee discount. You get free access to the bit launch pad. Um, you can also join Apex, which is a very cool decentralized exchange where you can also trade with leverage. OKX, 5,000 US dollar bonus. So it's up to 10,000 US dollar bonus if you just click those links. Um, on the bitcoinfamily.com you will find all our products the bitcoin family pro bot makes three to four percent a month you will find how you become a liquidity liquidity provider you will find everything about the bam bam indicator and all the other indicator packages and what we do with the profits yes you will find everything about the charities and funds as well now really important news that i want to share with you is that today because this tweet was yesterday 32 central banks and 12 financial authorities of 44 countries will meet in El Salvador to discuss financial inclusion, the digital economy, banking the unbanked, the Bitcoin rollout and its benefits in our country. Now, and this is a lot of countries, guys. This is Banco de Central Saltome, this is Paraguay, Angola, Ghana, Namibia, Uganda, uh, Guinea, Madagascar, Haiti, Burundi, uh, S1. Tini, uh, the Bank of Jordan, the Gambian Bank, all of these countries will be meeting in El Salvador to talk about how to use the Bitcoin standard. This is a lot of countries, guys. This is Egypt, Jordan, Nigeria, uh, Mauritania, the Congo, Armenia. It's so many. And they all want to listen to Najib to uh, how he experienced the whole Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador. So this could lead to um, worldwide country adoption in bitcoin really awesome guys now do i have anything else to share with you i have one more chart and that chart is over here uh, this one this is the puel multiple guys uh, the puel multiple is showing us if we look at these three halving periods at uh, 2012 here we had a trend line coming up that orange trend line and when we broke it we fell down into the green box then we started to make this new trend line up, 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 up. And when we broke it, we fell down into the green box. And we break it after that blow of top. You see it? Over here, blow of top. This is the blow of top. And there we break it. This was the blow of top. And afterwards, we break it. Now, we are building up that same trend line again. This was the first trend line, this orange one. This is the second trend line, the third trend line. You can see that the trend lines are becoming less steep. The first one was 
pretty steep, the second one was less steep, and the third one is even less steep. Now, so for me, um, if this was the blow off top, then we should be breaking, breaking this trend line and coming into that green box again, making a new bottom for a new run. Um, let's see if we bounce one more time from this trend line or if we break it and then indeed create a new bottom. Um, but if we create a new bottom, that's again the perfect moment to buy your Bitcoins. Just check if you would have bought there or there or there you will be in a shitload of profit, even if you would have bought here or there, you would be in a shitload of profit. So, if we come into that green box, please be aware and buy your Bitcoins again. Now, um, that was enough information for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the video? What do you think about the market? What do you think about drinking some coffee? Oh, mm. by the way, um, Thursday, 19th May, so that's in two days, I will be doing a free Bitcoin meetup in Rotterdam, in the Jack, in Rotterdam, in the Jack, Rotterdam, in the Jack, and you will be receiving a free book, a free surprise, and another free surprise if you just come to the Jack. It starts at 7 in the evening, and join me when we talk about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. That was everything. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.